Globally, in 2014, a billion children aged between 2 and 17 years experience physical, sexual, emotional or multiple types of violence. A quarter of all adults report have been physically abused as children. One in five women and one in 13 men report have been sexually abused as a child. A nightmare-based life situation saw the 16 years old Elizabeth Barasa and from one student in Ukirale High School in Busia County flee away for the safety of her life before things went sour. Following the harsh life condition, she has been succumbed for some years now. Mamangu ali nipeleka kwa nyangu nikiwa na miaka ene, hadi saini kwa na miaka kumina sita simuoni. Nimeishi na nyangu kwa miaka tisa, miaka ene nikuwa na kaa nyumbani bila kuanda shuleni. Sasa hizo miaka zingine ndo nikafaulu kuanda kwa shule, Pia ilikuwa tunia shida, naenda kwa shule siku zingine nikifukuzwa na kaa karibu wiki moja. Siku faulu kuenda kidato cha kwanza. She was forced to shuffle off from her garden home that literally could be termed as hell on earth and make her way to the neighboring village for it was too much she couldn't withstand the brutal punishment by her guardian who went even to an extra mile of chopping her body up with a slasher, so even threatening to kill her. Tulitoka a church kama tumechelewa. Hasa vile turudi kama tumechelewa ndiyo wakaniuliza mbona merudi leti. Nika mwambia mvue likui na nyesha, haka sema tiyo ni ukora tunamfanya. Na likuwa meshika slasha, hiyo slasha likuwa ndaka kunichapia. Hasa ndo nika jikinga kwa nyumba na nika toka mbio, nika anza kukimbia. Vile nikimbia nika enda kwa mainji, haka anza kugombana. Haka gombana, haka nyamaza, sawa vile mini lirudi. Ndiyo nika ingia kwa jikoni kwa anza kupika, haka ingia po ndani na haka funga mlango. Haka anza kunichapa, haka nichapa, haka toka kuningiza kichwa ndani ya sufuria. Nika katilia kwa mawe ingine hapo hivyo ya mekwa, nika katilia hapo hivyo. Nika anza kupiga nduru nikita buwanake ya kujia ni okoe. Her body full of mysterious wounds basically shows the hard life cycles Elizabeth Barasa has been backward under. For the lack of knowledge on whom her parents are, Barasa was forced to be a maid in order to gather a coin and another, basically to cater for her school fees, so as to make a way in life. But here she was engulfed in a terrible kind of life. Mama ngu ali nipeleka kwa nyangu nikiwa na miaka ene, hadi saini kwa na miaka kumina sita simuoni. Nimeishi na nyangu kwa miaka tisa, miaka ene nikuwa na kaa nyumbani bila kuanda shuleni. Sasa hizo miaka zingine ndo nikafaulu kuanda kwa shule, pia ilikuwa tunia shida, naenda kwa shule siku zingine nikifukuzwa na kaa karibu wiki moja. Siku faulu kuenda kidato cha kwanza. Sasa nikamua kuenda kufanya kazi, saa vile nilipata school fees, nika join, vile nili join, pia penye naishi ni mashida tu. Ilikuwa inafikasi ya kusoma, ananiambia tinisisome, nianze kuonyeshu uyo mtotake mkubwa. The incident has emotionally touched the teachers in Kwirale High School, where Kalistas Musung with the school deputy head teacher described Elizabeth Barasa to be such a hardworking girl, consolidating for the government to take action on the same. From her background, she has had it hard, rough, in order to make her join the school. Because she only came with 4,000 shillings first term. Uh, to date, nothing has been paid yet, but when you look at her background, she's troubled. Even security-wise, where she's staying, she's not very safe with the aunt. I would wish that the parents be dressed, be responsible, that this girl, she looked to be having a bright future. Well, Lillian Chelsea with the garden to Elizabeth says that she punished Barasa for doing mistakes repeatedly. Sija hayo mchapa, makosa hake ndilifanya ni kamchapa. Kusunguka na wanaume, huku na huku. Achoki kutembea na wanaume, niki mkatasa mambo ya wanaume ataki. Niki muambia nini ya hataki, nika muonya maratatu kwa hii mesa kama na mkataza. Mambo ya vijana na vijana wenyewe ni wahapa karibu, siu wambali. Nili mchapa kumuonya ili arudi kwa laini ili haendile kusoma.